Hi, I hope uh, everyone's doing well. My name is Gar and thank you for dropping by and welcome to Prequilt. Uh, we are so excited to announce today that we just launched a uh, feature that we've been working on. Uh, it's the On Point Grid. So we're going to create a uh, simple quilt uh, called Heartstring. And uh, I'm here at the dashboard and I'm just gonna jump right in and I'm gonna create our new quilt. So we have a couple of options when it comes to grids. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to use uh, the on point grid. Uh, you can change the block size uh, to whatever number you want. Uh, you can change it. Let's change this to uh, six inches. And um, so the uh, proportions always have to be one to one when it comes to the to on point. All right, so uh, this is our empty grid. It kind of looks like a spreadsheet. And if you've worked with Prequilt before, uh, this is similar to other uh, grids like the rectangle where you have the columns up here and the rows on the side. But what we've added here to the on point are these tiny arrows uh, that point to uh, the directions of the number. So for example, uh, if I click on to the five, it's going to select everything downwards. And if I click on to these little arrows, that points to uh, that direction. So this is a really handy way to uh, make selections and add and rotate. Uh, as you know, making selections can be very tedious if you had to manually uh, click on all the cells. So hopefully this helps uh, when it comes to uh, experimenting and playing around. So these are the default blocks. I'm going to delete everything so that way uh, we start from scratch. And I'm going to start by clicking on make custom blocks. And since the uh, grid contains um, three different types of cells, uh, it contains the corner cells, uh, the sides, which are used for the top, uh, right, uh, bottom, and the left, uh, or the um, kind of like the middle uh, cells right here. So I'm going to create um, this one, and I'm going to create the background. Okay, so I'm going to expand this, and I'm just going to stretch it out so that it fills the entire uh, work area. You'll notice that they have these little uh, white masked areas. Basically anything outside of this will not be rendered so it uh, acts like a mask. So make sure everything is inside here uh, that you want to uh, see. So I'm going to select this shape and I'm going to link this shape to a color tag A which is the white one right here. And if you want to learn more about uh, color tags I'll provide a link down in the descriptions area. Okay, so I just need to give this a name. I'm going to, I like to put an underscore because I want this to be on the top when it's sorted alphabetical order and BG for background. All right, so let's fill the uh, entire grid with this uh, background block. I'm going to click on to uh, this infinity sign or you can click on uh, here and that fills, uh, selects everything. And so I'm going to click on to add to quilt and what's going to happen is it's only going to, it's going to look for all the cells that are compatible to the six inches by six inches. So the corner ones, which are smaller and the sides will not be filled with this block since it's a different size. So there you go. So we have it all filled in. Now let's start working on our first heart. And I go up here, make custom block. And I'm going to select this uh, block type again and fill this in. Oops. And I'm going to give it a name of uh, B, just, just B. Okay. And I want the heart to be in, uh, I guess we'll try like this direction right here. Um, okay, I'll just fill this in. So it kind of looks like a, it's just a, a three block, but it's kind of like a heart. So we're going to uh, improve this uh, shape by um, creating a new block with a little bit of a curve. So let's create a new block. And And I'm going to use this curve 
and this time I'm going to link it, this one to uh, the same color tag as the background, which is this white. And then stretch this out. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to close this and I'm going to add it to uh, these two areas. I just need to do some rotation. I'm going to click onto this first and then just give it a rotation and perfect. I forgot to give this a name. Uh, I want to make things organized. So I'm going to call this a uh, B curve. And now I'm going to create our um, other heart, which will be, uh, we'll call C. I'm going to clone this since I'm going to clone these two blocks to save myself a bit of time. I'm going to call this uh, C and then I'm going to clone this one as well and then uh, call it C curve. So we have these two blocks but uh, we have not used it uh, and we're just going to go in here to edit the colors. I'm going to select the shape and this time I'm going to link this shape to color tag C. Okay, and that's it. So C is done. Now we just need to update the color for the C curve. Okay, and done. All right, so now we just need to add that block. And this time I'm gonna add it, click the button first, which is a different way of adding. And then, so I just need to rotate that. There you go. So we have our two hearts done, and at this point, uh, we can just start repeating this, and uh, using the copy and paste will save us a lot of time. So I'm just going to manually select these, and now that we have it selected, I could right-click anywhere in the selected area, it doesn't matter, and just go to copy. But when it comes to the paste, you need to find out where the anchor point is and paste accordingly. So the anchor is always the most left first and then top. So that would make this uh, cell the anchor. So I'm just going to move my mouse down and it would be right over here is where we would paste it. So if we were to paste it um, up here, for example, it would give us a different result. This looks kind of interesting, but that's not what we're going for uh, for this uh, pattern. So I'm just going to paste it here and then do it one more time and that completes our column. Uh, let's make a selection to all these and then paste it uh, beside it. So rather than manually clicking all these, um, we could just go to the blocks over here, uh, B, and then tell it to uh, look for where it's used and select the cells. Just uh, do it to all four of these blocks. And then uh, right click anywhere and go to copy. And so the anchor point would still be uh, this one right here. So if I just move my mouse right here, I want it to paste right here. Okay. And then also right here and right here. And there. So that pretty much completes uh, the bulk of the, the quilt in the middle. We just now need to create these uh, edges and the corner pieces right here. I'm going to go back to the Make Custom Block and select this. Okay, so this one's a little bit smaller. This one is 3 inches by 3 inches because it's the corner piece. And I want the same color as the background, so I'm going to link that and just give it a name, I'll call it a BG uh, Corner and then save it and I like using, uh, I, I, I like using this uh, selection where you can right click and then ask uh, the app to look for and select all the cells with the same size that I right clicked. So basically uh, it's going to look for all the cells that are 3 inches by 3 inches which is the corner right here. And you can also do that with the sides right here. Uh, but I haven't created that uh, block yet, so let's do that right now. Okay. Scale and scale. 
and then link it to uh, color tag A because that's the color, the background color, and then just give it a name. I'll call it BG uh, sides, and then uh, where is it? It is this one right here. Okay. So that's it. So that completes all the blocks. And now is the fun part is where we get to experiment with the colors. Okay. So as I'm clicking this, it's going to go through all the color tags. Uh, we're only using three color tags. And it just randomly applies a uh, Kona uh, color to each of the color tags. Uh, this is pretty good. I think I got kind of lucky with this. Uh, I'm going to just lock this um, color tag A. And I'm just going to see if it can come up with something nice with the beige. All right. Yeah, this is pretty good. Um, you can always go in there to tweak it. Like, let's say um, this pink is nice, but what, how would it look like if it was a little softer or brighter? Um, OK. And then you can do that with the uh, gray as well. Um, when you're happy with this, you could uh, download the image. Uh, it tells you all the colors that you use, uh, three colors, and it breaks down all the blocks that you use. So we have uh, uh, this corner one, which is three inches by three inches, and we used four of them. Uh, again, so it's a good kind of a shopping list of uh, the, fa the fabric or the, um, the blocks that you're using. You can also uh, show the grid and then download uh, the design and then download the blocks. So that ends, pretty much ends the video. If you have any questions, uh, we'd love for you to uh, kind of let us know what you think of this new feature. Uh, and I encourage you to kind of explore and experiment with uh, tons of other features that I didn't have time to cover uh, with this uh, video. So if you like it, uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up and support us uh, by subscribing to our channel. So uh, thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.